Knight Rider has uh, the distinctive bass thing. Ba bum, ba bum, ba bum, ba bum, ba bum. Then I had the rhythmic thing. Bum, ba da 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 da. Then I had the melody. Bum, ba da da, bum, ba da da. A lot of people had no idea who did that or what I did. Now people know. Do you know what I'd really like to do? Nope. But I got a feeling you're going to tell me. Dun, 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 dun. Every time you heard that theme, people would run to the television sets. It was different. It was the first one that was really a synthesizer main title. Knight Rider was tracked by the film editor or somebody, I don't know. I always assume the film editor because he's the one who walks in with this and says, oh, well, look what I found. Uh, perhaps it was somebody else. Uh, a German piece of synthesizer music. He put this little piece in uh, and it seemed to work with the image of the, of the car. And uh, they tried to buy it. In other words, they tried to purchase the piece, but it was, a, was not public domain or anything. So I said, we've really got to do something like that, but different. I remember a, th a theme out of a classic uh, piece. Uh, we're talking about, uh, you know, at the time of Mozart or someone. It was a, and I think it was called Cinderella Suite, uh, the, the piece that this was from. I took a little bit of that theme and embellished on it and worked with Stu Phillips. And uh, Glenn sat with me. We sat in an office down in, uh, uh, in Universal down on, with the little piano there. And we talked over a whole bunch of ideas of, of how to do it. And, um, and we collaborated for a bit on it. And he listened and he said, yeah, yeah, OK. I can, but I want to you know, make sure we get that sound. Well, what we ended up with is nothing like that piece of German synth music. The hope was to do something original, something maybe that was going to be uh, fresh and new. I did not have a great deal of uh, knowledge about synthesizers. So I found three synthesizer players who did, and I hired all three of them. And um, that's how we did the uh, score with the three synthesizers and the acoustical rhythm section. <laughs> It was a new thing uh, on television at that point, having a main title that ran uh, over a minute. I mean, generally, main titles were a lot shorter. Networks are very superstitious about themes. If it brings people out of the kitchen into the den to watch the television, that's what they want. And in this particular case, the minute you could not miss the opening bars of that theme. If you're familiar with the pilot, after he gets shot and dies and gets transported to this island and the, and the mansion and everything else, the Knight Rider theme does not play. So there's a whole complete piece of music written over that with a very, um, what I call a plaintive type of theme playing. That theme was written to show his troubled past and the, you know, the tragedy that had just happened and everything else. I never played the Knight Rider theme until the car is actually uncovered. I recognize the more rudimentary controls such as the accelerator, Devin. I do know how to drive. I am among a rare few that actually make attempts to use the theme throughout the show. I always try to have various elements. I can draw from little things from the theme. So there were one, two, three, four distinct elements of that theme that I could use anywhere in the thing. Secondly, uh, Glenn Lawson's style, one of his styles of producing anything, is always to have a bit of humor in everything he does. He always likes that little sense of humor, that little touch of uh, irony. So many of these serious cues, if you listen to them, always end with uh, da da bum bum bum.
as popular as the show was and as popular as the theme was, there was never anything done to promote the theme until 20 some odd years later, now all of a sudden everybody wants to do this. I've, there, there, are, there are three hit rap records that were out. The latest one was an Indian Punjabi MC and, and Jay-Z uh, of Knight Rider, uh, plus uh, Busta Rhymes and Timbaland and Magoo. Uh, those were almost four or five years ago, but all of those were hits. And, uh, and in, so it took all of this time for somebody to actually want to do something with the Knight Rider theme. And uh, now it's, uh, I think, more popular than it was when it was popular. <laughs> I see it, but I don't believe it. I have a book of fan mail that's unbelievable. So overboard and so uh, generous with their uh, flattery. <laughs> It's kind of exciting, you know. Uh, it's like I've suddenly been rediscovered. <laughs> and I guess uh, that comes from keeping a low profile all most of your career. One man can make a difference, Michael.